Ecto Sports Desk, powered by Kirksville, Chevrolet, and Toyota. Local sports from KTBO. In results from the first day of the Class 3 through 5 track and field championships, Cassie Jennings from Kirksville looking to go out with a bang in her final trip to Jeff City. She would take home third in the Class 4 girls pole vault with a vault of 11 feet 3 inches. Jennings on her journey as a Tiger. I mean, most importantly, I mean, God, he's just, he's got me here the last two, I mean, three years and made me place two years and being in the top three, there's no better feeling than that. Next up, it was Joe Sawyers in the the prelims of the 300 meter hurdles a bit of a hiccup along the way and that would place the senior in 15th with a time of 44.42 seconds not good enough to advance to tomorrow's finals in the class three boys 400 meter dash Macon's Colin Welch with a time of 52.93 seconds missing the chance to run in the finals tomorrow as well then it was on to the class four girls at triple jump Kirksville's Anna Moore would podium at fifth with a jump of 36 feet one and a half inches. As just a freshman, she feels like she's in a pretty good spot. It's definitely a confidence builder. I'd like to try to get a foot every year more, so I'd like to try to maybe get fourth next year. And finally, Bobby Campbell in the javelin throw. This one would be good for 147 feet, five inches. We're still waiting on those final results. More tonight at 10. For now, reporting in Jefferson City, I'm Katie Gilhooley, KTVO Sports. Campbell would end up in fourth place in the event. In the News from the State Tennis Tournament, Kirksville's RuPaul's forfeited his first match because of injury, but the senior came back to win his next two matches. He will play in the consolation semifinals tomorrow, and for the second year in a row, he is guaranteed a medal. In Iowa State Tennis, the Albia doubles team of Jordan and Diaz lost to Lamars. They came back to beat Fairfield. The results have been slow. We'll have final numbers for you tonight at 10. In 3A State Golf, team-wise, Mount Pleasant is 6th. Overall, individually, Caleb Cochran of Centerville is in 36th place after shooting an 83 in 1A. Trent Garver of Albia is 10th. He shot a 73. A send-off for the Plaintiff's baseball team heading to state will take place Sunday at 1245 as they will take off from the baseball field. The Bulldogs will face Wellsville Monday at 630. For catcher Ryan Jackson and his dad Andy, who's an assistant coach, this trip will be a dream come true. He hasn't been to a Final Four ever in his 17, 18 years of coaching. Now he's getting to do it with his son. This is just great. And when you coach, this is your dream, period. But it's even more special that you get to have your son on the team. Uh, really good friend as a head coach and uh, your other son on the bench as a manager. So, yeah, this is special. Iowa beat Nebraska in the Big Ten Baseball Tournament 2-0. Teresa's up next with final weather. Stay with us.